power, all honor, and all glory belongs to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, let's bow our heads and come to agreement. Father God, we come here today to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to be here today, allowing us men and women to congregate, and allowing us to be back in your house, Lord God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for every single individual that's watching at home via Facebook Live or any other social media network. We, are, we, are, we, we graciously bless and thank every individual for being here with us today, Lord God. Yes. As we, as men today, are speaking on the topic of black male emphasis, we thank and ask that you protect us, Lord, guide us, Lord, and guide every single gentleman that comes up here that speaks on your name, Lord God. Yes. As we allow the energy to flow, Lord God, we say thank you one more time. And as you continue to lead us down this path, we ask that you guide us to speak on your name, speak on your word, and bless us with the opportunity to learn and grow as a unit today, Lord God. So again, we say thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 Next up, we have a Bible reading by Brother Fred Swan. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All honor, all power, and all glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. I'll be reading today from Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 18 through 22 from the NLT. And I'll also be reading from Mark chapter 1, verses 40 through 43 from the Good News Bible. If you will please stand for the reading. Here begins the reading of God's holy word, beginning Jeremiah. My grief is beyond healing. My heart is broken. Listen to the weeping of my people. It can be heard all across the land. Has the Lord abandoned Jerusalem, the people ask? Is her king no longer there? Oh, why have they provoked my anger with their carved idols and their worthless foreign gods, says the Lord. The harvest is finished and the summer is gone. The people cry, yet we are not saved. I hurt with the hurt of my people. I mourn and am overcame with grief. Is there no medicine in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why is there no healing for the wounds of my people? And to continue in Mark chapter 1 verse 40. Here begins to read God's holy word. A man suffering from a dreaded skin disease came to Jesus, knelt down, and begged him for help. If you want to, he said, you can make me clean. Jesus was filled with pity and stretched out his hand and touched him. I do want to, he answered. Be clean. At once the disease left the man and he was clean. Then Jesus spoke sternly to him and sent him away at once after saying to him, listen, don't tell anyone about this, but go straight to the priest and let him examine you. Then, in order to prove, that, prove to everyone that you are pure, offer the sacrifice that Moses ordered. Thus, the reading of the Lord. Thank Thanks be to God. God. And next, you will hear a selection from our men's chorus. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand, everybody. All right. Bring the trays. The deacons are coming with the trays. Come on, men, and give us a song. You may be seated. Everyone go to tcotod.org. Go to the giving portal to give. Go to tcotod.gif.in. The, uh, the uh, cash app. And worship God in giving. Hallelujah. In the Old Testament, you didn't just worship God by singing three praise songs. You had to bring a sacrifice. You had to bring your best lamb. You had to bring your best coat, your best bird. Bring your best offering to God right now. Give a free will offering. Give your best tithe to God right now as we worship God together.
given here, those given over the internet, those given through Cash App. Yes, sir. God, we thank you. Oh God, bless everyone who gave to make your kingdom strong. God, we praise you in the name of every name, the mighty and master's name of the Lord Jesus. We give thanks now. Amen. Let's give God a hand, everybody. Come on, come on. Come on. Amen. Truly, truly, God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. God is healing right now. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you get healed, you gotta lay hands on yourself. Everybody practice, everybody lay hands on yourself. Say in the name of Jesus. I receive my healing right now. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, O Lord, and I shall be saved. For you, O Lord, are my prayers. Now put your hand together and receive it. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. Yes. We want to announce some things. Um, hallelujah. Today at four, at three o'clock, three o'clock, the Women's Day nominations will go forward. Okay, at three o'clock, the Women's Day nominations will go forward. Uh, so we want you to come back to uh, the church's Facebook page and my Facebook page if you're a member. If you're on the phone, call 727-731-9082. And we're going to nominate people to be a chairperson, to the office of chairperson, co-chairperson, chaplain, secretary, treasurer, financial secretary, senior rep, and youth rep. We're going to do that today at 3 o'clock. Amen. Uh -huh. Page is here. Yes. Sister Peterson is here. Amen. We will see you at three o'clock to do that. June twenty seventh at four p.m. We're going to have a congregation meeting. We want everybody to come out. Amen. The new PTA uh, is requesting all parents of PS three o seven. Lionel Jones is the new PTA chairperson. He's requesting that you reach out to him to connect. He wants to uh, help the school to be strong for our children. Men, pledge, pay your men's day pledge of $100. Is that right, Deacon Alders? That's right. All right. At this time, what we're going to do next week, as you heard me say, it's my 31st pastoral anniversary. Very quickly is our anniversary chairperson, Sister Julissa Washington. Let's give her a hand. Version. 
Again, that's Psalms 27.4. And the colors of the 31st pastoral anniversary is tan, white, and gold, okay? Yes. Yes. One of his favorite colors, by the way, is tan. So, so Saturday, we're going to kick it off June 5th, 2021, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. We're asking that you come and give love from the heart. So drive by and pick up. So it is first Saturday, so of course we're asking everyone to come by and get your communion, but also to bring a love offering for our pastor. You can do it individually as a ministry, but we're asking that you come give a love offer. Amen. 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 And then Sunday, June 6th, we'll have 11:30 service, of course, via Mark E.C. Taylor Facebook Live, and we will have a special guest preacher. Speaker will be Reverend Dr. Lorena Parrish from Wesley Theological Seminary. And then we'll keep going with our celebration on Wednesday, June 9th at 7 p.m. We'll have a special pastoral anniversary Bible study where we title will be 31 years in the trenches, and you'll hear our very own pastor speaking during that. Right. And preaching the word of God. I mean, speaking and talking about the study of the word of God. And then on Sunday, June 13, 2021, we will have our wrap-up of the day for the 21st pastoral anniversary on that Sunday. We'll have 11:30 service as well via Facebook Live, and we will have a special guest preacher, which is Bishop Archie McGinnis from Full of Effect Gospel Ministry. Yeah. But not only that, on Sunday, we will also have an additional program via Facebook Live as well at 4 p.m. Something very special. Pastor Teller always speaks about and says that so many things have happened, but he doesn't remember. Sometimes we forget. So he's asking that you Take a moment and think about an event or something that has happened between you and Pastor Taylor, okay, over the last 31 years. So we want to just honor that and speak to that. So what we're calling this special service is His Story of Forgetting or Forgotten Events, okay? His Story of Forgotten Events. So we're asking you, okay, to again, think about something that may have happened between you and Pastor Taylor that he may have forgotten. Because sometimes you know you'll ask him, but no, I don't remember. So we want to make sure that we record this and we have records of this. But not only that, but we just bring them back to remembrance for him as we celebrate him for being here for 31 years as our pastor. So how are we going to do this? Okay, listen closely. We want you to, of course, write down and submit your story that you have between you and him to the church, all right? So to the e to email opendoor201 at aol.com to Sister Goodman, okay? We ask that you send this no later than Wednesday, okay? Wednesday, June 9th, okay? For the following Sunday on the on June 13th. But June 9th, submit that Wednesday by 5 p.m. Again, submit your story between that something that may have happened that you may have forgotten on June 9th by 5 p.m. Okay, e we, we suggest email, okay? If you have any other questions, of course, feel free to call the church and we'll give you more additional information. Please do not write no more than two pages. That's what we're asking. No more, no more than three pages. No more than three pages, okay? We're asking. We know, we're not saying that you have to write three pages. No, we're just saying no more than three pages, okay? That is the maximum, not the minimum, okay? So if you have any questions, again, feel free to call up. But yes, it's going to be via Facebook Live, and that's how we're going to celebrate the 31 years of our very own pastor, Reverend Dr. Mark V. C. Taylor. Amen? Yeah! All right. Let's say amen. amen for our pastor's anniversary chairman, Sister Jaleesa Washington. Let's give God praise for her. Amen. 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 All right, so uh, Dr. Paris will be here on the 6th, uh, Bishop McGinnis on the 13th, and 4 o'clock we're going to have a special panel to tell some stories, but also we're going to read some of the things because so many things have happened. I'm going to tell you how I came on this. I saw somebody a few weeks ago and they was telling me something that happened between them and I, and I had absolutely no memory of it. And I, it sounded like things I would say, it sounded like things I would do, but I totally forgot. And so we want to record things before we forget because that's history. Amen. 
So we want everyone to uh, participate, all right? Uh, at this time, now those are our, all of our announcements, like we can send us. I want you to pray for everybody on the sick and shutting list. You, we have prayed, some of you, if you didn't come in in the beginning. Also, Haggai campaign, the building fund is coming. Make a pledge today. Uh, $500, $1,000, or any other amount, but we suggest five or a thousand. Uh, Karen Home Scholarship, in your giving, give to the Karen Home Scholarship. We're going to have some scholarship speakers to speak on the fourth Sunday. Uh, we have two scholarships. When you give to the church, uh, you give to uh, our general scholarship. Uh, and then we have the, uh, which one, the Karen Home Scholarship. Well, just give to both of them, and God is going to bless our scholarship. Amen. Recipients. All right? Amen. All right. Now, we have uh, some people who have joined us. Well, we got some other names. Sheila Beard, Tracy Dickerson. Gladys Ellington, Yvonne Prince, Rosa Wilkerson, Betty Wyman, Marie Ford, Larry Banks, Diane Caldwell, Demetria Henriksen, Sister Goodman, Antonio Almo, Jay Francois, Crystal Jackson, Trina Cook, Sahara Moore, R.N. Short, Monica Patton, Barbara Michael, Dexter Clymer, Deacon Page, Sharon Grafton, Deacon Macbeth, Roberta Christian, Tasha Washington, Aaron Wiggins, Belinda Tucker, Cicely Serrano, Cicely, we pray for you. Amen. God is a healer of hearts and minds. I believe in God for your healing. Candace Davis, we thank God for Candace's powerful testimony yeah. that she gave last week of the Lord healing her in her body and her spirit. Let's give God a hand. Amen. Deborah Angel, Jesse Washington, Pierre Humber. Letitia Cripe, Renee Cook, Teresa McClurkin, Cynthia Brown, Kimberly Clark, Bridget Humber, and Jazzy Ennis. Hi, Jazzy. God bless you. Let's give God a hand for all of these people. Turn in. Man, man, man. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. We're not going to hold you. These men, you see one man, but it's uh, three men singing. So, Brother Stevens is singing. He's playing the organ. Uh, the Russell Taylor singing, playing the bass. Yeah. And then we can all of the leader. Let's give him a big hand. He's doing a wonderful job. We're going to bring him back from the praise song, and then we're going to uh, end. Amen. <laughs>
leave it, leave it out and come back. I'll give them just two minutes. Here. Thank you so much for joining us. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Stay with the healer, the Lord Jesus Christ. And stay with us in the Black Healing Project. Let's go.